Some time ago, we had a look at Xilence's Liku Riser, yeah, Liku Riser 360, featuring their Red Ring fans. That thing was quite the revelation in a few ways. First of all, it, it turned out significantly better than expected, but then it was also priced in a way that it started to compete against things like with the Arctic Liquid Freezer 360 series. Let's open our eyes for some RGB, cause in this video we will find out what will happen if we take Silence's pretty damn good liquorizer and pump it full of that unicorn fairy dust. Exactly, millions of FPS. And probably a couple of degrees, cause you know how it is. Each LED comes with an extra frame, but also at the cost of a degree, so mm, that, that's the fact, it's how it is. So this is the Xilence XC908 or LQ360 ARGB or Liquorizer 360 ARGB. Yeah, there are, there are so many names for, for Xilence devices. But before you believe that this is the exact same stuff we've seen on the non-RGB version, hold your beer cause the only thing that these two have in common is the fact that they are three fans and that your PC is going to have a really good time if you step these tubes. Starting off with the pump. Instead of the crazy ass 2100 RPM pump that the original liquorizer came with, the new and improved XC980 comes with a healthy amount of eye cancer, including RGB and exactly the same 2100 RPM pump. Except for the static pressure. By spec sheet, the new one seems to be pushing the water a bit weaker for, for some reason. But the real difference starts with the fans. Although the fans used on the XC980 share many similarities with the original Red Rings, like the 70 CFM, the RGB ones on the 980 are spinning at 300 RPM faster at 1800 RPM while yelling at 5 dB quieter. Unfortunately, there is nothing said about the static pressure, so we will just have to leave it like that. The radiator used on here seems to be the exact same one used on the original XC978 at 27mm thickness, but the tubes are around 10mm shorter. And this may be the reason why the, the pump by spec sheet is producing less static pressure. It has shorter tubes, it has less water, and I am unsure how they calculate static pressure, but I can imagine that the amount of water it needs to... to... to. Inside the box, we'll also find the usual bag with a 3 to 1 PVM splitter, a tube of thermal paste, and bags full of mounting hardware for AMD and Intel. On the compatibility side, we have support for AM4 and everything before that until FM1 for AMD, and every LGA1150, 1366, 1200, 2011, 2066, and even the newest LGA1700 for Team Intel. As a little extra, Silence also includes a SATA powered ARGB controller in case your motherboard does not come with a 3 pin ARGB header needed to run those little lights and on the fans and pump cover. We can use the included controller by hooking it up to the ARGB splitter and then connect each fan and pump light to it and then just start up the light show. For the installation, it's 100% the same procedure as for the original Red Ring Liquorizer. Instead of a bracket and backplate system for each platform, Xilence went with a generalized approach for every socket so that everybody does the exact same thing. A really refreshing for a second time. Except for AMD users, we first need to remove the pre-installed brackets and, and backplate before we continue. From there, everybody needs to take the backplate and position the long screws in the holes according to your socket, with the most outer ones meant for LGA1366 and LGA1200 and every 1150 and then the central area we have the most outer one for AM4 and the most inner ones for every other AMD socket. With the screws positioned inside the backplate, with the edges facing up, we can place it behind the motherboard, and then in the front we can put in a washer on each screw, followed by the nut. Now from here we need to take the bracket that fits onto your socket, the round one for Intel and the longer one for AMD. Just place it onto your water block and then, you know, like, like give it a twist to make it stick. From there, we need to just place the water block on top after splashing in a gallon of thermal paste and then we can screw it down using the nuts. As a last step, we need to provide power to each fan and the pump, so just use the 3 to 1 PVM splitter and then hook everything up to a single header. The pump can be hooked up using a 3-pin header or just leave the 4-pin to SATA 
power adapter that it is already connected to it and hook that thing up right to the PSU, making the pump spin at 100% all the time. With all of that stuff covered, let's finally take a look at the question if RGB does come at a cost in the house of silence. And Damn, that sounded cool. While letting every fan spin at 100% of its 1800 RPM, the Xilinx XC980 managed to keep the 3900X at 48 degrees C above ambient. Now, that is not the, the best result. Sure, it is still in the upper corner and, and way better than other 360 AO I've seen, but considering that the original Xilinx LQ978 was topping the benchmark list, makes this okay at best. Not the, not the best, but okay. While looking at the noise to performance charts, things change and do not change at the same time. While it's quite impressive that the new RGB liquorizer managed to beat the original Liquid Freela 360 in the lower speeds, it never managed to fully beat the original non-RGB liquorizer 360. However, looking at the bigger picture, the new RGB liquorizer 360 is still beating top tier air coolers out there and it is able to compete with top of the line water coolers. Maybe not beat most of them like the original liquorizer or on the liquid freezer, but some of them. It, it is keeping up with the big boys. So where does all of this lead us? Well, just like the original liquorizer LQ360 XC978, complicated name, this thing is pretty damn impressive. It still has the dead silent pump with a massive copper block underneath featuring those those reels which may or may not be performance increasing. I still don't know, but they look hella interesting. The quality is still impressively good, the installation method is still a relatively easy process without any major complications, and it's a really great thing that Xilinx already includes an LGA1700 mounting. On the performance side, if you ask the question if RGB comes at cost in house Xilinx, the answer is 2 degrees C. RGB will cost you 2 degrees C. Of course, this will be heavily dependent on the CPU you, you pack underneath this. We use the 3900X. If you go above that, the difference will be bigger. If you go below that, the difference will be smaller. And I'm still not sure why they used a, a, a different pump on here. If, if that had anything to do with it, I don't know. But that's, those are the numbers. But based on what our test results showed, the XC980 performs slightly behind the non-RGB original Red Wing counterpart. Now that being said, I also want to point out that yes, it's a 2 degrees C difference, but keep in mind that we are not comparing good with bad, we are comparing very very good with a little bit less good. So if you are about to decide between the XC980 and XC987, both perform exceptionally well, but the XC987 is a tick better. On the price side, it will get really freaking complicated. As of writing the script, I am able to get an XC980 for about 87 euros. On one hand, that's a 15 euros increase from the original non-RGB version with a 2 degree C reduction, which sounds quite stupid. On the other side, the closest better thing would be an Arctic Freezer 360 ARGB, which comes in at 110 euros here in, in Central Europe which means that the XC980 is still 23 euros cheaper than an Arctic Freezer 360 ARGB, which again makes everything incredibly affordable and makes really a lot of sense and it makes it really complicated to write a conclusion for this video. So to put an end to, to my many ifs, the XC980 is a very good and extremely affordable 360mm AIO RGB Unicorn infused liquid cooler. The RGB implementation is quite clean and there is nothing really negative to be said about it. But if you're aiming for absolute peak performance, well, the XC987 will be slightly better. And this should be it about the Xilinx XC980, and if I repeat another time that, that damn long name, I will get a stroke. At this point, a huge thank you to Xilinx for sending over this puppy. But before we end this, a mini recommendation to Xilinx. I don't know how far you can control the accuracy at which these stickers are put on the fans, but if there is any way to make sure that in the future there will not be some idiot like me staring at a, at a fan for 5 hours straight because it's kind of hypnotizing, uh, please do that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, but if you want to keep watching, have a look at our review on the original XC987 Liquorizer 360. I'm, I'm feeling the stroke coming. In case you want to sanitize your eyes from, from that RGB. On a side note, we also have a Discord server, so if you want to join and discuss why having RGB makes your dog poop rainbows, that's the place to start. Okay, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.